Hi guys, this is very much a work in progress project. I haven't done a build video for it because I'm just trying out an idea. This is a hovercraft, styrofoam trays from fast food restaurant or chip shop. There's actually two of them, one inside the other both facing the same way. Then I trimmed the inside one off along the edge and this is what's remaining of the inside one turned up the other way. So, as you can see, yeah, there's the inside one and there's a gap all the way around it. And what we've created here is what's called a plenum chamber. So, the air blows in but it hits the top of the other tray and it's then forced out round the edges so the air is actually coming right round the outside not down the middle and that creates like a wall of air all the way around the outside which is supposed to be more efficient uh, that's one of my 3.7 volt cordless motors just glued onto a popsicle stick to hold it in place in the middle. This is a 3.7 volt battery out of one of my mobile phones so we can actually connect it up Because this is a very small hovercraft and a relatively large motor, it suffers a lot from the torque effect. So it spins, actually it spins that way, because the propeller spins that way, which makes the hovercraft spin the opposite way. And I've been trying to correct that by putting these drinking straws in the back so they act as jets of air at a bit of an angle and I was struggling with that and realised that's because I've got a very short uh, moment arm there not much leverage because they're very short so it then occurred to me why don't I just put a hole at this end because then it's got a long lever arm so it needs less air shooting out to correct the spin so it's trying to spin this way, and with that hole open, it spins the other way, because the air is shooting out this way. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of where we are at the moment. The long term aim would be to try and make this into a little radio controlled one. But I need to sort out counteracting the torque effect. So I'll put it on the floor and we can see what's happening so far. First I'll do it with the hole closed. So we've got a good hover, but it's spinning. So now I'll open that.
So that certainly controls the spin and it just depends on how far I open the hole as to how much it controls the spin. So that gives me an opportunity to put some sort of steering on it and then try and use these just to give us forward motion. As I say, work in progress.